Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully you had a good night's rest and everything's going well with you. Uh, just last week I spoke of Jesus uh, having an angel come to him and minister to him and strengthen him. And and um, I thought of this uh, um, this past Wednesday night at the church when I was preaching, but uh, I want to read to you a piece of scripture from the book of Acts in chapter 12 talking about angels and we see angels in the old testament and in the new testament and i know that people if you're not careful we can find people worshiping uh, angels we're never to worship um, the creature but we are to worship the creator uh, being god but anyhow uh, let me read to you um, the scripture here now about that time herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church and he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when they had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quatrains of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And folks, uh, if anything's going to happen today in the church, outside of the church, in the life of the believer, and even uh, in the life of those who are not believers, but anything that's going to change their mind and to put them on a road um, to conversion, it's going to take prayer. And uh, here was uh, the, the church, the believers, they were praying without ceasing, the scripture says. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and the light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and said, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. The angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out, and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through the street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And Peter was come to himself. He said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Of course, then we find that the scripture says that he goes to the house where the church is, where the people are, and he knocks on the door, and a little maid comes to the door, and she goes back and tells them that it's Peter at the door. And the church, although they are praying uh, without ceasing, uh, they fail to believe her. <laughs> matter of fact, they think she's a little cuckoo, probably. But what does Peter find? He finds that a angel wakes him up, says, uh, put your garment on, but put your cloak around you and let's get out. And he does. He brings him to the outside, releases his chains, brings him to the outside, and basically sets him free, and then the angel departs. This song that I'm going to sing. I think every time I sing it, I think of, of the movie It's a Wonderful Life where uh, Jimmy Stewart is playing the character of George Bailey and he uh, is standing on the bridge getting ready to jump. This being um, September Suicide Awareness, Suicide Prevention uh, Month. You know, there are people that sometimes find themselves in a situation where they don't see a way out. And in that, in that story, uh, George Bailey is about to jump and to take his own life. Uh, and God sends an angel 
and the angel jumps in and Bailey sees him and he jumps in to save him and it starts this whole process that uh, finally works redemption uh, in the eyes of of, uh, of God through that angel and coming to show uh, this character that Jimmy Stewart plays what his life would have been like without him or what life would have been like without him. So it's very interesting. It's a wonderful life. It's a Christmas movie if you ever watched it. But that's what this song uh, reminds me of every time I hear it or uh, sing it. Um, I don't know that I have ever been um, protected by an angel, strengthened by an angel. But the more I think of it, the more I would like to think that if God did this for other people in the Old and New Testament, that he's there to do it for us as well and to send us the help that we have need of. I was troubled in my mind And had reached my darkest time When my life and my spirit was low I walked down on the span of a bridge made by man and looked down at the water so cold. I stood shivering there on the edge of despair, knowing well I was going. The end drawn near I had no mortal fear For I had never known him at all But God sent an angel that God will show me the way Since His messenger entered my life I'm a part of His plan For salvation of man As I walk in the circle of What my life's all about And no more will I suffer despair I've got proof he's alive For he let me survive And I know he's made a home for me But God sent an angel that only my eyes could see. He was dressed all in white and surrounded by light. Oh, thank God. Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us, Lord, and we thank you for 
sending help to us at the time that we needed. God, I pray that you would bless, Lord, and help us always to be alert, to be attentive to the work that you're doing in our lives, Lord. God, help us to always see that when we cry out to you for help, that you send the help that we have need of just in time. Sometimes we may wonder where you are, but God, I pray that you would bless us to see that uh, you send help and it comes just in time. We love you, Lord. We thank you for all you do for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, folks. See you Saturday.